Welcome Capricorn, I'm Juanita and uh, we are going to look at what is going on for you over the next couple of weeks and just see what it is that you need to do to help you get through this time. Okay, um, yeah, oh, that's what I need to tell you. Sacred Light Oracle is the deck we're starting with and we're going to use Osho Zen Tarot for clarification. So, let's get into it. Capricorn, give these a quick shuffle. Okay. Okay, so, ooh, I love this card to start with Capricorn. Love, light and laughter. Let me just put these over here. Okay. Love, light and laughter, receiving Sorry, that's not even the card's name. I, I'm, honestly, Capricorn, what's going on? <sighs> Gather, center. Um, there's this feeling of needing to come into yourself to be present. Okay, um, Golden Light Ray. This is the name of the actual card. <laughs> um, Capricorn, yeah, receiving and giving gifts, passionate projects. So, I feel as though I, I do love this energy, okay, but I feel like I want to focus more on the passionate projects because I feel like there's something that you're passionate about um, that if you tap into, you are going to be in absolute heaven. It's kind of like um, I don't know, I'm just seeing someone um, like a music musician playing music, right? Say like if that's your, your passion, okay? Or it could be dancing, it could be arts and crafts, it could be anything, it could be comedy. <laughs> um, interesting, yeah, there's something inside of you that's been suppressed, okay? And it could very well be this passion, Um but I do want to say that if there is any suppression going on and you feel like you're heavy and bogged down and weighed down, potentially from the thoughts that you think, um, the way to break out of that and break out of that cycle is with this golden light ray. Okay, so really tapping into those things that you're passionate about, the things that you love doing. Okay, things that bring you joy getting people around you who to surround you with laughter, having fun, okay, um, giving gifts, that can be really enjoyable, receiving gifts um, also. Um, and I want to say about that, with the receiving and giving gifts, it doesn't have to necessarily be material things. It could be um, someone offers to show you a certain skill, um, so receiving that as a gift to add to your bag of gifts that you, you know, your talents in a sense, okay? They might give you free um, guitar lessons or drumming lessons, whatever, okay? So yeah, um, and or if you have a talent, that could be something that you offer to people because you love doing it so much. That could be a way of doing what you love and giving at the same time, which will bring you immense joy. Okay, laziness. Now, um, Capricorn, some of you may be in denial a little bit about what's going on for you. This could be maybe escaping from this suppression. This could be an escapism more than anything. So I just want you to be aware of what it is that you're using in your life to escape from your reality because needing to be present is needing is being honest, completely honest with ourselves. Okay, so looking at yeah, what it is that you're doing, whether it's partying, whether it's um you know, just yeah, pretending you're on a beach um when you're really in the kitchen, you know, escaping mentally. It feels like maybe some of you are just um yeah, needing to escape mentally because you are not happy with your reality right now. So it is looking at and being completely honest with yourself about what your reality is 
what you're not happy about and what it is that you can do to change that okay um divine creation acceptance perfect personal commitments euphoria um accepting I want to say about this Capricorn is there's this personal commitment that you made to your soul. Okay, when you came here to this earth, you made a commitment um, to um, achieve a particular mission. And I feel like this is something that needs to be fulfilled. And this could be... Well, for some of you, I feel like you're not feeling fulfilled, you know, and so this could be really tapping into this divine creation in order to bring that out so that you can actually tap into what it is that you're really here to do, okay? Um, yeah. I see, this is the sense of not being present, okay, into this dream world. It's like, it's like you, oh, excuse me, I went to talk then and then, ugh. <laughs> sorry Capricorn. It's like you have this idea of, of this, you have an ideal world that you dream about um, and it's been able to see how you can bring it into your reality because I feel like in your heart you can feel it, you can sense it um, and it's just a matter of drawing on this divine creation because I feel like here she's like okay what's right, is this position right, is that position right, you know what, what works and what doesn't so it's trying it out so that you can actually bring into your life this this colorful picture here okay we also have politics here too very interesting i don't know if it's you or it's someone around you but someone is definitely wearing a mask okay and um whether you're aware of this or not you see this this denial Again, and even this card now, I'm seeing denial. This could be about um, looking at what has happened in the past and um, potentially not letting go of some things. Oh, I'm not sure, Capricorn. It's getting cryptic as we go along. Galactic vibration, personal conviction, raising your resilience, direct channel. We've got divine creation and galactic vibration here. Two energies that I feel, Capricorn, you can tap into to help you bring forth this golden light ray. This is super interesting. I'm like, there's just more to the story, you know. It's like, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Galactic vibration. Tell me more about this for Capricorn. Galactic vibration. Stress. Juggling too many things at once. Feeling like you've got the world on your shoulders. Yes, see, there's the suppression. So, okay, because of this, right, you're feeling like things aren't adding up. You're feeling like you're not seeing, or you feel like maybe there's some people who are not completely honest around you. And um, really tapping into this divine creation and this galactic vibration is definitely going to help you because I feel like you are feeling quite burdened, okay? And the creator, tapping into this creator within um, so that you can come to this um, mutual state of being. Because I feel like things are quite um, unclear 
for you right now. And I feel as though that that will help you to tap into this divine creation and this collective vibration. So silencing your mind is going to help you. Also, um, Capricorn, go outside at night, okay, and really um, be with that universe in, in um, looking at the stars, stargazing, okay, just connecting in and letting that pure light come down into your heart, okay. These things here, like letting go of these things while you actually do this, okay, so that you can start to get become this clear channel for this energy to come through. And I really, really feel like that will help you quite a lot. Past life, look at this. Yeah, see, here's this musician thing again. So someone could be a musician. Cultural experience, it's behind you. Yep, so the past regression um with this it's behind you with the past this could be still coming up for you capricorn because there's some unresolved emotions okay and and it's really interesting because i've had this same thing myself where i have um been having things raise up from other people and I know it's not them specifically I've that was weird just about choking on my lips um I've realized that the emotions that I'm feeling are actually from long ago where I felt a particular way for a really long time and these are just parts of myself that are still yet to be healed and um, pretty much really acknowledged and looked at, okay? Um, and, and as soon as I do that, to bring that into the light, to be seen, that feeling that I have about, you know, in that present moment, it starts to lessen. Yeah, so maybe that's why there was that need that I had at the beginning to be in the present moment. We have moment to moment, taking it step by step, right? Baby steps. This guy here, he's walking along, he's got his eyes closed, and he's just hoping his next step, he lands on a stone. Okay, he's, he's kind of, it's kind of like walking blindly, and, um, and anxiously, not trusting. With this past life thing here, I feel as though there's this um, need for you to trust the direction that you're going in. I feel like this divine creation and this galactic vibration will help to guide you in that because I feel as though there's this um, real strong sense of uncertainty in you right now. And really coming and looking at what is going on in your mind that's adding to that to fueling that okay because he could take a different approach and trust and wholly believe that he's going to make it to the next step he's going to do that okay um but it's the mind that is getting in the way the other thing i want to say about that is being aware of if, if because I noticed this in this past life here. We have an egg here, right? I think it's just hatching or it's about to hatch. So, and it's got nice flowers. If it has hatched, these nice flowers in there will look what looks like nice something anyway. So really thinking about what it is that you want to grow, Capricorn, and how, um, because... It's like you're doing certain things to to make something happen, but it's not just about the actions, it's actually about the thought process as well. And not only that, it's actually about also your vibration. Yeah, you might be trying to create something and you want to really make sure that the... Um,
it's kind of like the psychic debris you know what is being put out from your mind is clear so that the foundation that you build is really solid and it's not uneven and you don't have to go and make repairs and there won't be cracks that appear and things like that okay so I feel like you're stressing yourself so much and suppressing your feelings. You're just trying to make something happen, but there's work behind the scenes or internal work that needs to happen in order for this thing to be birthed or to be successful. Sphere of light, healing hands, empathetic qualities, animal wisdom. The sphere of this sphere of light is in your heart, okay? Now this, this, yeah, see, this is about this wisdom, right? And, and drawing in wisdom from your past lives so that you can honour this earth mission that you are here to execute, okay? Because this lady here is so wise and she's, it's like she's there, tapping into her intuition, which is this kind of sphere of light, I feel, so that she knows the next step to take. She knows the, the best course of action, okay? She's tapping into her previous knowledge. Yeah, it's, this is really trusting yourself that you have the knowledge within you to know which direction to go in, okay? Um, and, sorry, we've had two cards flip over there. Oh, we almost had the whole deck flip over there too. Yeah, I, I, you, you are really, because I also see here, this, this sphere um, is, is sending out this vibration all around. And I feel like the sphere is dependent upon your divine vibration. You know, what, what, what it is that is within you, okay? And when this kind of stuff is going on, it's not really bringing out a very positive vibration, okay? Ah, see, this is like the suppression card, holding things to yourself. Protection, this is you protecting yourself from something, building walls, which isn't helping your growth, okay? And this card here, I feel like, is what I was talking about before, of looking at the past and holding on to something that no longer, not only no longer serves you, but it's like there's this thing in the back of your mind that, oh, what if that had have worked out? I wonder if that was the right way to go or was that was that the best thing for me um but it's done and dusted and it's time to turn around this could even be something from your childhood again that needs healing but it's like you need to turn around and take a different direction or a different approach okay um temple of mary Emotional expression, playful, innocent, and exploitation. See? Okay, so, sorry, I'm just getting a few things here. First of all, I want to say again, this is this turning around that I feel like she's looking with this empty look in her eyes um, ahead of her and not actually turning around to see the beauty of where, you know, the existence of where she is. There's this whole existence, which is beautiful, but there's something that she's focused on, which is, is key. it's like this narrow focus, I suppose. And I want to say to you, Capricorn, to expand your focus, okay? Expand your focus. Turn around and see what's around you. Turn around and see the beauty in things. Turn around and see the avenues that you can go down that are not closed off. Okay, opening up your heart um, and connecting with your higher self, connecting with this galactic vibration, okay, with this divine creation, so that you can um, have this temple inside of you 
and tap into this creator of who you truly are. Become Mary, Cap uh, Capricorn, become Mary. <laughs> okay, Mary, I'm going to call you Mary now. No, I won't. Um, unless I feel the need to. Um, yeah. And, and again, with this playful innocence of coming back to this golden light ray, picking up that vibration for yourself um, to bring in, yeah, to dissolve this, right? To dissolve this um, icicle that you have placed around yourself as a form of protection, okay? Allowing this healing to take place, allowing these emotions to flow, um, to melt the ice because I feel like the suppression of the emotions is what now is keeping, you know, this all here, uh, this gate closed. It's keeping the ice there. It's keeping these walls up. Okay. Um, yeah. And I, I do, you know, Capricorn, you have, there's some work that you have done. Okay. And you do need to acknowledge that and celebrate that. But I feel like by doing this also, this will bring you the success that you are looking for. Okay. Um, and allow you to be merry. <laughs> um, not just merry, but merry. <laughs> um, yeah. Well-being, self-preservation, service to spirit, which is about your mission and why you're here. Okay, so, yeah, youthful experience. <sighs> mm, there could very well be an experience that you have had when you were younger that you will have learned from that you'll be able to draw on and apply in your life now. Okay, maybe some tools that, um, that you may have forgotten about. It may even be a whole tool bag that you once upon a time placed aside and went, that's no good for me. And now you are actually, you would actually be able to utilize those tools. Okay. Ah, oh, so some of you, it was daydreaming. Oh, okay. So it could have been that for some of you, at some point you were, sorry, I keep seeing people past here. Um, you were potentially, when you were at school, uh, you may have done a lot of daydreaming, which you were pulled up for and potentially punished for and scolded for. But when we're talking about tapping into this creator, it's kind of like that. It's going into this daydream, going into the abyss of the no thingness. That rhymed. That was clever. Um, right, like, do, do you understand what I mean? That might not be the same scenario for everyone, but it's that kind of thing that there was something, but, you know, there's something that you have this, well, the thing is, Capricorn, you are, okay, how do I put this without it sounding like a, a put down? The creator is the nothingness. Okay, so if you are the creator, you are also part of the nothingness, which is actually everything. When, when, you, when you look around you, and you, I'm going to try, hopefully this comes out right. When you look around you, right, and you look, you look at an object in front of you. Okay, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the camera here. There's a space between us here. And what it is, is tapping into that space, which is the nothingness. Nothingness, being aware of that space around you. Not identifying with the object you're looking at, not identifying with this physical body that you, you um, reside in, that you, you encompass. It's the space in between. Yeah. Cathedral of Light. Stubborn attitudes. Extending the olive branch. Artistry. Um, 
letting down your defences. That could be a bit of stubbornness and that could be out of protection. Okay? Because, yeah, I feel like the stubbornness is definitely something Capricorn that you could work on. Um, but it is there for a reason, and I understand that, and it's there because you feel it protects you. But in actual fact, it's inhibiting you, okay? And by stepping, like dropping those walls, I mean, it's a work in progress. I'm not saying drop them all at once and become incredibly vulnerable to the point that it scares you so much that you'll never drop a wall again. Well, let's not do that. Let's start with one one bit at a time, one stone at a time. Okay, not the whole wall, but just one stone at a time. Because you have these, you have this light inside of you. You are this gem, Capricorn, that the world needs. And you're holding it, you're keeping it to yourself. You won't let anyone see it. And maybe you've been made fun of before. You know, you could have been mocked because of your gifts. Um, but I actually truly... This card, like it's so beautiful and colourful, I feel like this is you. This is you standing up here um, in a way that is like, not in a cocky way, which is interesting because sometimes I get this from this card, someone standing above everyone else and being like, look at me, I am the bong, right? But no, this is, this is about you shining your light and that light actually creating colour in the world. Yeah, I really, really love that. What's what's it dropped out there? Oh, yeah, see, growing something, growing this beautiful existence, this beautiful, um, oh, I just had it there. I can see it, I can see it. It's like this, this creating this world which is full of beauty and colour. Okay, and, and what happens, like at the moment, it's almost like that would be quite uncomfortable for you because you're not used to that. But what would happen is as you you break down each of these stones one by one by one and create something new for yourself and, and one by one you let these tears fall and gradually let that ice melt away, okay, you become used to this colourful world, all right? And you... You actually learn to colour the world for yourself, okay? Because at the moment, this is what your comfort zone is and, and this is what you're used to. And even though you want this, you're actually more familiar with this rather than this. So this right now feels quite uncomfortable for you, okay? So this is why you only imagine it happening. And um, whereas by doing this bit by bit, Capricorn, this then becomes, this colourful world becomes your ordinary world rather than something that seems out of reach and beyond what you could ever dream of, okay? In an Oracle, you are the channel. Deja vu, self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, um, you, you are absolutely, where are we? Where's this card? Oh, I've lost it. How could I lose it? The divine creation, where's it gone? It just created itself away. <laughs> um, it just divinely went poof. Um, oh no, here it is, sorry. Um, you are this divine creation, okay? You, you, you're this magician who can absolutely, you know, you have this inner oracle inside of you that can create anything you like. I feel like for some of you, you're just at a loss as to how to actually apply it. So this is what this is about. This is your first steps to actually applying this so that you can, you can live this life that you dream of right now. Okay, Capricorn. Um, yeah, I, I, I really feel like because every, it's the right time. Okay, everything's ready. Um, everything's, you have everything you need, um, and yeah, that was turning in, so I, we've already talked about that, but I feel like turning in and going into the silence is going to quieten in, quieten, quiet this mind, 
can't even get my words out now. Okay, um, but we do have the source. Look at this, the source within you. You are the source, okay? This is what resides within your heart. Okay, this is this sphere of light here. Okay, so it is bringing your awareness to this source. Okay, and this is where this nothingness is, okay? Yeah. Being that. Bringing that out. Okay, so that, um, yeah, because I feel like, you know, this, this guy sitting here, it's like you're in two minds. Like you're in two minds about something and this is going to help clear this channel right connect with this galactic vibration here and become this divine creation right to help you bring forth what it is that you want to actually bring in yeah because there's definitely something you're creating so this is going to help you do it okay <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. So, Capricorn, you should see those cards here, man. They're all over the show. What a mess. But that's okay because we got there. Hopefully, I hope that resonates for you. Please subscribe and like and share and comment and do all that jazz um, because that's going to help other people. Like, the whole idea of this channel is to help people. Okay? It's not just about giving you a general reading. It's like, what, what can we do to help you? Because that's really what I want to achieve. Okay, Capricorn, take care of yourselves. See you. Bye-bye.